Hello everybody, Dibs here, and as you all know, Sombra is now out on PTR. I'm so excited to go over her, and she is looking like one really fun hero to play. But anyways, let's just get right down into her abilities before we get into some gameplay. So if we take a look at Sombra's kit, she has the Machine Pistol for her main attack, EMP for her ultimate, the Translocator for her special ability 1, Thermoptic Camo for her special movement ability, Hack for her alternate fire ability, and Opportunist as a passive ability. So let's take a look at each of her abilities. Her machine pistol has 60 bullets of capacity and can deal 420 damage per clip. This means that each bullet does 7 damage and can include headshots as well. As you can see, it can deal quite a bit of damage even if it is mid-range and it does a lot of damage to big large targets. So you can see Samba dealing quite well versus big tanks. Next is going to be Sombra's hack ability in which she temporarily stops enemies from using their own abilities. This counts for blinks, healing, or any type of escape ability which allows your enemy to get away. Not only that, hack can also be used on first aid kits to make them useless to her opponents. The enemy is not able to use the health packs and they also regenerate 3 times faster. The hack on the health pack lasts for a full 60 seconds and you can refresh the duration by hacking it again. Note that your hacking ability can be interrupted if you take any damage. It is also important to note that if you successfully hack your opponent, you can tell whether or not their ultimate is ready. Next is going to be Sombra's Translocator, in which she tosses out a Translocator Beacon. She can then instantly return to the beacon's location while it is active, and she can do it from any location. Sombra would typically want to use the Translocator on a hacked health pack so that she can easily escape and regain her health immediately. You can use the Translocator to help yourself harass different locations at the same time, or to escape. Note that once you throw the Translocator, you have 15 seconds to use it. Once you teleport, then the cooldown will start for 6 seconds until you can throw out the next one. Next is her movement ability called Thermoptic Camo, in which Sombra becomes invisible for a short period of time and also gains boosted speed. Any attacking, use of offensive abilities, or damage taken will disable her camouflage. However, there is one ability that you can use with your Thermoptic Camo and that is your Translocator. You can easily toss it out and also teleport to the Translocator without revealing yourself. Sombra's passive ability allows her to see enemies through walls who are lower than 50% life. This is very useful because it allows you to track down your weak enemies and chase them down to finish them off. Last but not least is Sombra's EMP, in which she discharges electromagnetic energy in a wide radius, destroying enemy barriers and shields, hacking all enemy opponents caught in the blast. Sombra can use her ultimate in combination with her thermoptic camo to stay hidden while getting into a big giant clump of the enemies and then using her ultimate. This will allow her to stay hidden while safe at the same time and then translocate out of there when needed. Another strategy that you can use is to use your translocator above the enemy and then drop down to use the EMP. This is very useful because when you try to use your EMP ultimate while coming out of your thermoptic camo, you have to wait about half a second before you can actually initiate the ultimate to make yourself visible to the enemy. Alright, so now that we've gone over abilities, let's dive right into a game. Alright, so we're here on King of the Hill, and I feel like as a harasser, Sombra would be really, really good at being, um, well, being annoying to the enemy team on King of the Hill, of course, right? So, we're gonna see how much we can do, and using our phase shift, or an invisibility, to get onto point as fast as possible. Alright, so I'm gonna try to hack this one to make sure that, uh, I have it available and throw my teleporter on there. And in case I do need to pull back, I can teleport back there immediately, and it allows me to have really good sustain. Yeah, so, oh, got the kill. Nice. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get healed. <laughs> Alright, so I was super low and able to teleport back here. Very, very nice. And the thing about that is that allows you to, allows your team to utilize that health pack very, very easily. Um, basically, it's like you're having three health packs at the same time because then it respawns three times as fast. And not only you can use it, but your entire team can use it. So it's very, very nice for you. It's really, really good for support. And I feel like, uh, like, you can actually consider Sombra a type of like off support, and as you can see, I'm trying to use my uh, my uh, my hack ability on him, but I can't because it's, uh, Winston is attacking me. So whenever you get attacked, you cannot um, continue your hacking ability, right? It'll get interrupted, and yeah, that kind of sucks. So yeah, if you, it's really important for you to keep track and try to what was it? Take control of health hacks as Sombra, right? Make sure you got the hacks up all the time. Teleport. Make sure that you continuously uh, hack it again. 
It lasts for 60 seconds, if you guys don't know. Um, and it's very nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to try to use my ultimate here. Make sure get everybody EMP'd on the point so they have no abilities. Can't use anything at all. Trying to teleport out of there. Even though that was my teammate's ultimate, I was kind of scared that it was not ours, but it was blue. I should have noticed that. <laughs> and yeah, you should refresh your health pack whenever you can. It lasts for 50 sec uh, 60 seconds. But then you can rehack it again and it lasts for another 60 seconds. You just want to make sure that your uptime on those hacks are very, um, are, it's really high, right? So that Samba has that health pack, which is very good for them because it's close by and it's really near to their... Woo! Oh, I wasn't able to do it. Okay, so very near to their attacking position, right? So as you can see, a split second, I hacked that tracer and it showed that she had her ultimate up. So whenever you hack somebody, it can show if they have their ultimate. And pretty much it just tells you whether you're going to be getting, um, you know, bombarded with an ultimate soon. I'll try to see if I can get any uh, trailers. Didn't look like there were any trailers. And I can see that Hanzo because it's critical health. Very nice. Okay. So if anybody is lower than 50% health, you can track them through the walls. Pretty much. It's, pretty, it's pretty strong. And it's ridiculous. But if you do go invisible like this, you get attacked by crossfire you can take a lot of that uh, you can get out of it immediately it'll take you out pretty much so you always want to make sure that whenever you're invisible you don't go in front of crossfire and make sure not to get hit by anybody trying to get oh I was, I was trying to hack but my hack ability was actually down it has quite a bit of a cooldown so you always got to make sure that it's up um, whenever you really 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 need it almost ran into the dragon I was trying to check to see where it was coming from all right so I want to try to time my ultimate with everybody else to see if we can actually do something big here. And yeah, it lets you know that you're, de you're detected as well. If I think it's when Widowmaker has her vision up, which I'll my ulti here. So everybody here is getting EMP. They have no defensive abilities that they can use. And this Tracer is being really, really slippery. So I feel like Tracer is a... It's kind of even when it comes to Tracer versus Sombra. Because the thing is... As long as the Tracer is able to attack you while you are trying to hack her, you can't successfully hack her, right? The thing is, once you hack a Tracer, she is pretty much dead unless the Tracer has really, really good a uh, aiming, right? So as long as the Tracer... Um, like, the thing is, whenever you have a Tracer and you're going against a Sombra, you have that one second time that reloads where um, you have a chance to hack the, um, the Tracer, right? And that is the most opportune time to hack the Tracer because she's reloading and you have that one second and she's not shooting at you. So you always have to make sure that when she starts to reload, you start hacking and trying to get her down. If you try to hack her any other time when she's shooting at you, it's not going to work. That's one thing that you got to worry about when it comes to Tracer. And it's kind of even, it depends on the, the skill of both players. And you just got to get the timing down. I'm going to try to hack this Daria so she doesn't have a shield up. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, gotta get out of there. Oh, it's nice. 14 health. See, look how, look how utility, or how... You utilizing uh, how how she can utilize the health bag. My grammar's going off. No grammar, guys. So yeah, she has her ultimate. You gotta back it up, back it up, back it up. Oops. Okay. So yeah, 15 seconds is quite a long time for your your uh, teleportation. Very very nice. I'm gonna try to teleport throughout the window. Oh, I was able to make it. Nice, nice. And I'm trying to get back in as soon as possible. That's the EMP, the enemy EMP. I'm trying to get onto the point. I have my EMP here actually. Let's see if I really need to use it. I don't think I need to. Doing pretty good so far. I'm gonna try to use my ability, my uh, invisibility. Try to go from behind. See if I can take this guy out. Dual attacking with the tracer. Very, very strong. Gonna try to pop it here from ultimate. So that Anna cannot use a sleep dart or. And. Oh, okay. So she was able to use the hack. The hacked health pack. Very, very nice. Oh! <laughs> Saved myself. It's like a, a mobile recall, I would say. It's nice because then you can pretty much just tell yourself where you want to recall. And it's not like always three seconds to where you were before. You can you know exactly where you're gonna go and you can screw up like that sometimes too. You gotta make sure that your aiming is pretty good, right? Oh, oh we're almost gonna take it, we're gonna take it. There you go, uh, uh, overtime? Nice, okay, we got them down. Woo! Dang, so yeah, I would say Samba is pretty fun on King of the Hill. She's very, very nice because the thing is, is that in King of the Hill, you have to utilize your health packs quite a bit. And it's very good. I can say it's a big counter to uh, Winston if Winston is always jumping through and trying to get health packs. But it looks like we're going to be against the scene. And a lot of people leave in PTR because, I don't know, I think it's because they don't want to play Sombra. Yep, that's it. So, oh well. Good game. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can get into another one. Yay. All right, so as you can see, we're playing defense on um, Gibraltar. And I'm trying to hack that health pack. 
I'm gonna try to teleport up there because I'm gonna try to escape. But yeah, you can't hack at health pack until the match starts. So it's very nice for you to try to hack it right away. And then if you need to, you can deal some harassing damage and then you can teleport to a safe area and then you can just basically get away like that. So I've got 20% ulti already, which is very nice. Let me try to see if I can get rid of this Roadhog. And she does a lot of damage, look at that. She does 420 damage per clip. And if you get a lot of your shots off, especially on these huge tanky targets, it's very, very nice. So I can say that Samba does do quite well versus um, big tanks. All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can get through the back. I have 89% ulti already. I wonder if I need to pop it right here. Don't anything. I'm gonna try to get there. I'm trying to use my teleporter to make it so I'm safer. Taking damage, teleporting up here being really annoying as Sombra. So this is kind of what you <laughs> really want to do. Just keep going back and forth, annoying your teammates, and making sure that you're holding down this health pack. Because this is the only health pack that they have in this area that's a big mega pack, right? There's a small one on the outside. There's another one in the outside as well. I'm going to try to get rid of this Sombra. Don't have my hack ability yet. I'm going to try to see if I can get rid of our... Both of our aims are pretty off, but I'm mine is a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to try to see if I can get back up there again. Trying to hack her. Oh, okay, I'm getting shot, so no point for me to try to hack. And once I know, I'm going to teleport up. All right. So I don't want to get hit by the flash on the McCree. McCree can stun you, as you guys know. And uh, he can pretty much kill you in a, in, with his flash and uh, fan ability. Right, because you have 200 life. Get rid of that Genji. Nice. Uh, so uh, I do have a different crosshair, but then the thing is, is I'm used to the bloom when I play a lot of Tracer. And it's about the same. It's a little bit not as bad. But I'm going to teleport. Wait. Nice. Okay, so getting out of the area of effect from that Roadhog. But yeah, it's a little bit better than Tracers. You can still shoot far away, I think. All right. It's the range is... You have the same amount of range as Soldier 76. I'm going to hack this one. I'm going to try to teleport away out of here. And I'm going to try to use my ultimate to try to make sure they don't chase me. Ah, oh, I wasn't able to get... Ah, damn it. Dang. So what I was trying to do was I was trying to teleport out of there. And then use my ultimate so this Tracer wouldn't be able to blink through. And if she can't blink through, then I can successfully use my invisibility, right? Because then now she won't be able to attack me, and then I can run away. But it was line of sight. Of course, you know, the ultimate is line of sight. And I wasn't able to get away. And <laughs> she needs to throw a little bit harder. I'm trying to get rid of this Roadhog. Ah, you got me down. So yeah, it's always very nice. You can see weak opponents when they're lower than 50% health. And of course, if you do have them hacked again, you can see their ultimate, which is very, very nice. It can call out... Um, whenever the enemy has a specific ultimate, that's very, very important, like a Zarya ultimate. Uh, as long as you communicate with your team, it's very, very advantageous for you to play Samba. Oh, getting sniped. I'm trying to see if I can get out of there. Double here, hack this one. There's another big mega pack. Very nice. Gonna try invisibility. See where I can be used. I see a, tel I see a Widowmaker up there. I'm trying to pull behind her. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, got her. Nice. So, what I would be able to do is you can actually hack the Widowmaker while she's sniping. And then she won't be able to hook away, right? But the thing is, I she was scoped in, and I kind of felt like I was going to be able to try to shoot it down before anything. So you see that big check mark on his head? He has his ultimate up. So it's very clear for you to kind of see what's going on in the game and give you really good... I'm going to try to capture this. Good uh, game sense. Oh, I guess she blinked away. Sex. Uh, now I now have six seconds left. Five seconds. Going to kill this way, right? Blink back. <laughs> well, not blink. Uh, should I hack it? Uh, so I was able to get a hack. And... Line of sight the other Sombra while I'm hacking so I can make use of that, um, that what was it, health pack. A lot of things that are going on. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a good, decent combo with this. So everybody here is... Oh, okay, that Tracer didn't get hacked. But, so that, that, <laughs> that Roadhog has been used, keeping his ultimate for such a long time. Alright, so I'm gonna try to teleport up there if I have to, watch. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport after this. Uh, is he gonna climb up? Is he gonna climb up? Yep, teleport! Oh, I'm right here! Oh! Oh, damn it! Oh, I got... Damn! I set it up just so I, I knew that the Widowmaker was going to hook up once I got onto her. But I was attacked by the other Sombra and also the poison at the same time. It was a good setup, but I felt like um, I didn't really notice. Well, I mean, of course, I didn't see that the Widow the widow Vine was there, right? Not much I could have done there. But that's kind of what you want to do. You kind of like force people into different positions, waste their cooldowns, and then use your teleporter. And if you can predict where they're going to be at, you can teleport directly to them. And it's very nice for you to be able to do so. so. Alright, I got heat vision. They can detect me. Got this uh, tracer. Got to get rid of the tracer. Nice. Awesome. Got him. Doing work as Sombra. Pretty, pretty nice. Right, I'm going to try to get rid of his abilities. Ah, he can't heal. I think he was trying to heal at that point. <laughs> oh, Sombra is so annoying to deal with. Jeez. I'm trying to see if I can get him again. Oh, oh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Hi. Right, I'm just going to go for him. 
throw my thing. Should I get out of there? Oh, damn. I wasn't able to. So I was trying to escape through that hole while jumping at the same time. But this Reaper, all of a sudden, decided to turn around and gun me down. And I was a split second a little bit too late. That sucks. But there's so much you can do with Samba. It's really, really amazing. I really find it fun. She's a really fun hero to play. And really hard to play against, I would say. Should I hack this one? Ah, uh, okay, wasn't able to hack. So when it's Samba versus Samba, it's pretty much just whoever aims better. And whoever has the jump when it comes to invisibility. So I think that this Samba kind of knows that I'm around. Because I think I make a sound whenever I get go invisible. But of course, it's just a battle of the aim and who's better at aiming. Uh, I'm trying to use my hack here and also my teleportation device in case I need to get uh, my health back. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this uh, Reaper. So if you want to get out of your stealth, all you have to do is just push any other button besides um, or any, any, any other action button. If you shoot, if you melee, if you hack, it will take you out of your invisibility. And that's pretty much what you want to be careful about. Ah, oh, what I was trying to teleport up there. Uh, I got EMP'd, so if I got EMP'd, you can't do anything. You can't teleport, you can't do anything. You can't even use your teleporter. And that's pretty bad for you. You always want to make sure you don't get hacked by the enemy Samba. Your escapability is down, and you can't escape. I just said that, I just repeated myself, but you know, you, you get the point. <laughs> yeah, look at that damage. Doing quite a bit. I have my ulti. I want to see if I can try to combine it with the Zarya. I don't think, actually, no, we don't have a Zarya. So, oh well. But I wonder if it'd be pretty good. Like, if you have a Lucio ult, it does get rid of the Lucio shields as well as the Reinhardt shields. It goes through it and also the barriers of the Zarya. So, if the Zarya gets an ultimate on all of the teammates, on the healers, and even if this Lucio drops his ult, you can take it out instantly with your own EMP. I'm gonna try to pop it here. Uh, as you know, that Mercy's healing is not an ability, it's an uh, attack. So she can still continuously heal, but she just can't escape. She can't use her flying ability. And I was trying to... Oh, I was trying to see if I can uh, hack the Reaper, but it doesn't look like I was able to. But, oh well. Yeah, he was able to get the Reaper kill. Probably a play of the game, but oh well. It's all good. It's all good. Doing pretty good. Still doing great. We got four ultis here. And I'm going to try to see if I can get mine back. Kind of. Alright, uh, uh. So, <laughs> you're a pretty big counter to Genji. Because if he tries to deflect, he can't really do anything to you. He can't attack you. He can't. Um, well, he can swift strike into you. That's pretty much all he can do to stop you from hacking him. That's, all, what, that's what he has to do as a Genji. Um, if you're going against a Genji, if he deflects, you can hack him and force him to swift strike into you to kind of stop it. If he doesn't swift strike, uh, swift strike you, you can easily hack him and you can't get away at that point. Oh, I got his mercy. Oh, no, I'm trying to hack this. Oh, damn. So I was trying to hack that health pack so I can regain it um, continuously, right? Because it gets three times faster. And too bad that, uh, that Genji was able to get me down. I have my ulti. I'm trying to get back in. It's really, really fast. I feel like you're a little bit faster than soldiers run. It's ridiculous, actually. There's nobody here. Look at that burn. Burn so much damage. Gonna pop it. All right, so you can't do his reflect and he just dies it's kind of it's pretty crazy if you think about it and um, I think that Reaper wouldn't be able to use his face shift ability either but I wasn't able to get him at that point <laughs> my throws are a little bit off so the throws are a little bit less strong than Anna so you gotta make sure that when you throw your teleport or your um, yeah, your teleporter device that it kind of goes a little bit higher Aim a little bit higher than as if you were Anna. Of course, it's a lot farther than a Tracer Ultimate, or yeah, Tracer Ultimate, but it's still a little bit shorter than an Anna's grenade. But yeah, that's gonna be Sombra gameplay for you. So she's a really, really fun hero to play, very high utility, and there's a lot, a lot of things that you can do with her. And I'm really excited to see how she plays out in competitive. So yeah, look how much damage we were able to do. Get 25 kills, 49% kill participation, and she's really annoying as a flanker. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this one. Uh, I'm probably going to be playing a lot more of Sombra on PTR. And yeah, I'm looking forward to just playing her a lot. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.